chicken joy. Let's cook with Chicken Janice today. You got to see them on our episode one, making jambalaya. And while we're back, we're back. <laughs> and what are we making? We are making my favorite salad in the whole wide world, which is a vegan Caesar salad. I love Caesar salad, and um, I don't eat gluten, and I don't eat dairy, and um, you know, I, I don't necessarily eat anchovies, so I was really looking for a way to make this vegan and gluten-free, and I found a great recipe, and it's one of my favorite things to make. Yeah, and she's always made the Caesar salad at our holidays, and I have always been, it's always been my very favorite Caesar salad ever, so I'm really excited you guys get to experience yeah, this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm convincing her that this is a great way to go, yeah. to be <laughs> vegan and gluten-free. Yeah, so it really is, you know, there is some advanced prep that needs to happen, but this is a thing that I can make within an hour at home. Before we get started, I'm gonna give you all the ingredients. A big head of romaine lettuce, or too small. Uh, one medium bunch of kale. I like the dino kale or the cinto kale. And then um, a 15 ounce can of chickpeas or a cup soaked chickpeas that you then um, roast. A half cup of raw cashews for the dressing, quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, a tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, a tablespoon of vegan Worcestershire, one garlic clove, it's up to you how big, and then a half teaspoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of capers, and then fine grain sea salt to taste. That's for the dressing. For the Parmesan cheese, you need more cashews, this time a third of a cup, and this time raw and not soaked. Two tablespoons of hemp seeds, a tablespoon or two of nutritional yeast. Again, garlic clove of your choice, and um, fine grain sea salt to taste. So the first thing in the recipe is that they ask you to make the garlic chickpea croutons. And so what I've done, some people like to take it out of the can, I actually soak mine overnight and then uh, boil them up and then I roast them. So okay. this is a roasted chickpea with um, olive oil, a little bit of sriracha, salt, and a little bit of cayenne, a little bit of curry powder. So they're yeah. very flavorful. You and they, try they one? do have a kick to them. I yeah. tried one before. There's a kick. <laughs> yep. And one of the cool things is you can make an extra um, of these and then keep them aside for a snack. So they're super healthy. Gluten-free, vegan, low in calories, high in protein, all the things that you yeah. love. Yeah, so okay. fun to do those instead of, instead of croutons, which right. don't have much nutritional value. Not so at awesome. all. So we've got these ready to go. Just oh, and then so, you, so you, you put them in oil and all the spices. And, and then, then you, you roast them, them at the... 400 okay. for about 20 to 30 minutes. Again, cool. you're, I'm, I'm an ish kind of cook, so it's like 20-ish. Right. And then I see <laughs> if they've gotten you know crispy enough. Okay, okay? Cool. So once those are done, I just set them aside. And so what are the ingredients in a Caesar salad? Typically romaine lettuce. This one also adds kale. Yep. yep. So I know that we're here we are on the rooftop farm. These guys have plenty of romaine mm -hmm. and plenty of kale to choose from. And we are using Chapala Farms kale and romaine today. Yep. So, so again, I took the opportunity to just pre-cut it. And you could show them how you can take it off the tower. Yep. But it's ready to go. We slice it into thin stripes. The kale I usually do a little bit finer, and then again, it's ready to go. So the other elements that go into a Caesar salad always are the dressing and the cheese. And so we're going to show you how to make a vegan gluten-free dressing that's going to blow your mind, and then how to top it with a vegan gluten-free cheese. Awesome. So we've got super fresh greens right from the farm, so they're as nutrient-dense as they possibly could be. We cut them just before just we did now. this. And a couple of things to note. Dark leafy greens are so so awesome for us, and they're part of the G-bombs, the greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds, and avocado. So it fits into Joel Furman's re recommended daily intake of, of nutrients. Um, also, dark leafy greens are a great detoxifier. They're so awesome for us. Now, a lot of times people don't like kale salads because they've had them not done very well. Like all, yeah. yeah, like that. They get like curly kale, not the right type, or they don't get massaged or chopped fine enough. And so that people don't like them often. So, sure. I was yeah. surprised when I saw the kale in this recipe and I was prepared not to like it. But what's really interesting about the kale is that it takes on more of the romaine flavor in this salad and less of the kale. So yeah. I thought that was a really interesting yeah. so thing. If you're skeptical of kale salads, 
I would, let's give this one a try. Start with anyway. this one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Awesome. Beautiful. So we're ready to actually make our dressing. And you're going to see that there's unique uh, ingredients, mostly for the dressing, and then for the actual vegan Parmesan. Um, there are a couple that are common to both, and I'll talk about those in a minute. But essentially, cashews play a big role in this. And if you've ever had vegan cheese before or other vegan dishes, cashews can be very creamy and substantive, sort of like mushrooms. Right. And by the way, I wanted to say that you can add avocado to so the salad. Go. I'd like to throw it in there. Yeah. So I've soaked these cashews overnight. The ones for the dressing you use dry. So I'm going to throw these into the food processor. And I'm going to follow them up with a quarter cup of water that's already in my little quarter cup. Cup. Yep. Thank you, Jake. This is my <laughs> niece, Jake, by the way. Right. We and then I'm going to do a clove of garlic. And again, in the Kelly family, we like a lot of garlic. You could do half of this. You could do a quarter of this if you aren't a garlic fan, but we want that garlic. Yep. So the garlic goes in. Okay. Two tablespoons of olive oil. This is very special olive oil, I'm told, but everything's already pre-measured. Olive oil, you know, is a big staple in a regular Caesar salad dressing as well. And then lemon. So in this case, we're just going down to one tablespoon. And again, you would use lemon in a regular Caesar. Mm -hmm. You would also use Dijon mustard if you're in the Kelly family for Caesar salad. <laughs> and this is, again, about one tablespoon. And I know, as I said, I'm an, I'm an ish cook, so I say tablespoon-ish, a short tablespoon. And then this starts to be the vegan part. So capers have a very anchovy-like taste right. to them. If you use a very savory yes. taste. I like to use them in a lot of different recipes. And again, about a tablespoon. So I probably have a little bit too much there, so I'm going to shorten that. And then finally, Worcestershire, that shows up in a regular Caesar salad as well. What my sister Joy and I learned when getting ready for this show is that regular Worcestershire has anchovies in oh, it. So when you think about when it says vegan Worcestershire, you're like, what does that mean? Right. And what it means is Worcestershire sauce without anchovies in it cool you learn something new every day so we have this 365 brand so you can mm -hmm. get that from whole foods if you're yep. looking for where to i've find also it. found vegan worcestershire at an asian market okay and again this is around a tablespoon okay something like that now the okay. only thing we don't have in here yet is the salt and the garlic powder so that they ask you to do by taste i don't do it that way. I, I kind of know already how much salt I want, so we're just using a traditional salt shaker. I give it what Joy and I like to call a titch. It's that beach living. Let's see if I can shove this in there. You can do that, Jake. Go for it. And then I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder All right. in there. So again, we, that up for you, so there's a we good understand amount. that we like a little bit of garlic, right? And salt. Okay. Good. So that's all in my food processor. It's ready to go we now. This is a new food processor to me, so yeah. everything explodes. <laughs> we haven't had a lot of luck with food processors on this show. Yeah. No, we've, no. we've seen this before. Woo! Yay! Yay! I just say this. So I usually let this go for a while, like it, like it sits there for a while, and then while it's going, I'm kind of getting the things ready for the vegan parm. So this is going to go for a while and be loud, and then we're going to find a rubber scraper from our assistant. We'll come back. All right. Okay. Okay. So we do give that a little bit of time and space to do its thing. And then depending upon, you know, what else you're cooking that night, I, I like to make this dish along with a vegan mushroom risotto. So I might be doing something else at the stove. While it's doing that. Take that away. I either put this in another receptacle or I put it right onto the salad. And in our case, why don't we just put it right, right on onto there. the salad? Let's do it. We're going to use it all. It's got a nice, beautiful take color. Take this out of your you can way. take the blade out of there except we want to we want to really savor all that lovely dressingness vegan dressing yep. 
And, you know, everybody is different about how they like to dress their salad. Some people like it really thick. The thing I really, really appreciate about, appreciate about a great vegan Caesar salad is when it's dressed enough. I don't like it to be dry. Yeah. How about you? What do you I like? I agree. I like, I like, a, I would like a little on the heavier side of uh -huh. dressed for sure. Yeah. Because there's so much flavor in the dressing. Like that's mm -hmm. what the salad is, is totally. the dressing pretty much, yep. you know, so. It's a relationship. It's kind of like mixology, right? <laughs> yeah. Like mm -hmm. the art of martinis. I can't yes. wait to taste your espresso martini. Yeah, we're going to make some here in a little bit. Okay. Now, if you're using the same food processor, which most people will, <laughs> you do need to take a moment to actually clean it out between the dressing and the vegan parm because the moisture from the dressing you're not going to want when you're making the Parmesan, you know, the faux Parmesan okay. cheese, okay? So we're going to go and I'll take a little lick out of that spoon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ah, is it the best? It's so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, gonna, it's so good. You guys are going to love it. Yeah. You're going to love it. Okay, we're going we're gonna to clean up and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. We are with a clean food processor. If only, if only we had three of them. <laughs> so the reason that that's so important is that the Parmesan cheese has to have a certain consistency to it, right? Right. So what we're used to in a dairy um, is either that it's super shaky, like it's really grated, or it's shredded. So this is going to have more of that grated consistency to it. Okay. What I found is that any extra liquid, whether it's water or even olive oil, you lose that consistency and it starts to get kind of matted. Mm. So I've learned the hard way uh, to go for the consistency. Yeah. So this one is a little bit different. We put the dry cashews in first and then we put the garlic in and we put the top on and we're going to just mix these two together. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you're going to do that. Wow, to the Help blood. Help me. <laughs> get there. All right, so again, we're going to turn it on low. And that's about it. Yeah, you know, this that is, looks um, good. I know. So the, uh, my food processor, I can stop and start a little bit easier. So I call this the looking up your skirt part of the recipe, <laughs> where you have to kind of keep checking in. So I take the top off. And now the other ingredients that are going into the dressing, we're not going to run it on high anymore. We're just going to pulse. And so we're going to start with hemp hearts. Love these. Mm -hmm. And about two tablespoons of them. Two and tablespoons And this fulfills ish. the seeds for our G-bombs. Yep. And then we're going to put the nutritional yeast. And this also, I would say, you know, you use nutritional yeast a lot when you're making vegan cheese and you really, or like vegan Alfredo sauce, and it really is up to your individual taste. I like to put it on popcorn, by mm, the way. Yum. Yeah. So we're going to put that together and then just a little bit more salt. And then we're going to pulse this baby together until it starts to have the consistency that, um, a shredded or, or grated Parmesan would have. Okay. And we did already toss the salad, the, the dressing into the salad, so we've done that. So you guys can do that and let it kind of soak into the kale. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. Come this way a little bit. <laughs> right, let, me, let me get nice and tight on this. <laughs> yeah, on the Something struggle. Happening. <laughs> so pulse, just, you know, and every food processor pulses differently. Yeah. This one's got a pretty big range of pulse. I oh, can't tell you awesome. how many turns of it, but it's a few. Yeah, you want to kind of look like grated Parmesan. Yep. Every yeah. once in a while, I cheat and go the other way and go, oops, and then I go back to the pulse. I get a little impatient. Awesome. And so what I want to do is get rid of the pieces of the cashews so I don't have great big chunks in there. Yeah, like bites of cashew. Mm -hmm. Right. But what I would say, I, I have made the mistake of actually turning it on, and it does get goopy. Mm, yeah, so what they're trying to do line. when you're pulsing is keep it yeah. still in that dry kind of. Fine line yep. you got going on here. Five more. Okay, we're going to okay. call that good. I like it. And I kind of do this little tappy-tappy thing. It's kind of magic. Yeah, get off the sides. Take the top off. Okay. 
There we go. And then I need that. I'll take that um, spoon from right over there. Kind of any port in a storm, whatever, whatever you got around. Yeah. I'm going to take this blade away. Shaking everything off. And again, we can choose to go right onto the salad. Yeah. I usually do about half what I make. See that consistency? So this is great because it's not sticking to the sides. If you've got too much moisture in there, it's going to stick to the sides and then you won't get that Parmesan feel. So look at how nice that is. That looks just awesome. shakes oh my on. Gosh. And I'm going to do about half to start and then I'm going to toss it more. Okay. Hold that. And shake. Yum. <laughs> Blends with the, have a little mm -hmm. taste of that uh, vegan Jeez. Parmesan. It's so good on everything. Oh my gosh, that's so good. I put it on, I would make it and put it on all kinds of things. Sure, yeah, I put it on like a, mm, a frittata, good. you know, mm. in the morning or mm -hmm. breakfast potatoes or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Amazing, I have not had this for a while with lettuce from the towers. So yeah. this is exciting. Yes. I'm salivating. I'm salivating, I tell Salad you. Salivating. <laughs> Salivating. Yep. So this bit of, of vegan Parmesan kind of adds to the dressing a little bit. And, you know, again, gives you more of that coated feeling. Mm -hmm. And then to finish it off, I'm going to take my crotons. Some people crotons. call them my garbanzo crotons, roasted crotons. And I'm going to put half of them on top of the salad, because everybody really likes that. And then I'm going to take the rest of the Parmesan. And add it on top. And add that on top. And I'm going to give it one more toss. <gasps> oh my god! That looks amazing. That looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, this is one of those salads that I like to serve to vegan skeptics, people that think that, you know, oh, right. vegan cooking can't be great. And, you know, when you're eating a regular Caesar salad, it's not like it's filled with meat. Right. 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 It's right. got a special flavor to it. Right. And what I want them to taste in this case is, oh, my gosh, that is a pretty close approximation yeah. to a regular Caesar salad, yeah. but no gluten and no animal products. Yep. And yep. Yep. All right. So we got are you a ready plate for here. a little? And I'm going to got a little fork here. It's nice to eat it right away. Yep. I'm going to get this huge bite. Why do you want this? Derek loves it. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Derek, you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. Can him working. <laughs> <They're> here. <laughs> we can't tempt him. No. That's so no good. No food for him. That's so good. Mm, yeah. I'm so glad. That makes that makes such a nice appetizer for a meal mm -hmm. or even you could make it as your full meal. meal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you ready for this one too? Mm -hmm. So good. Enjoy, everybody. We'll Thanks so much for having me as your special guest. I know, so fun. Jakey. We'll see you all next time.